Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. And today we're going to be uh, going over how to create sprites or even objects moving across a field with a bit of a swirling effect. Just using a couple modules and the base, one of the base emitters. So let's get started. Uh, this is just some random scene I had gray boxed. So we're going to right click, go into FX, Niagara Emitter, click Next. And we're actually going to start out with the Hanging Particulates uh, Emitter. Finished. And I always do NE for Niagara Emitter, underscore, and we'll just say Particles Across Field. Click, and uh, here we have, so you can see that the particles are just kind of going in and out and swirling. The reason that they're uh, swirling just a tad is because of the curl noise force node. Uh, with that, without that one, they would just kind of show up and disappear. Uh, this one adds a little bit of movement uh, based on a noise and you can adjust the strength and frequency here. Uh, for those who don't know uh, how I have a black background in my preview, you go to preview scene settings under window and you just uncheck show environment. Now back to creating the effect I showed you. So we're going to start off by on uh, under particle spawn, hitting the plus sign. And down here, it even has suggested. So we're going to add a velocity. And since I want it to go a little bit to the left, well, a lot of bit to the left, I'm just going to click 200. And already you can see that the particles are moving towards the left with a certain amount of velocity. But this is kind of slow, and you can't speed it up, granted. But it doesn't quite have the sort of swirling effect. And that's because there's a fun node within particle update uh, that either showed up in 4.26 or 4.27, relatively new. Um, and that is going to be the vortex velocity. So we're going to go to particle update, hit plus, and then we're going to look for vortex velocity. And you can find it if you search velocity and you have all sorts of little uh, options here. Vortex velocity. This module has unmet dependencies. That's because the module needs to be above solved forces and velocity. Hit fix issue. And already these particles are a little tiny, so I don't blame you if you're having difficulty seeing them. But you can see that it's actually swirling. Uh, without add velocity, uh, they would be going in a circle if I can. Why don't I make these a little bigger so we can all see them? So we're going to 5, 8. I went to initialize particle and sprite attributes. There we go. So with out the add velocity, these are actually uh, swirling in a vortex, which can be useful for a wide variety of situations. And you can edit uh, various things, the access of it. So right now it's on the Z axis. And you can introduce a fall off. Makes it look a little funkier. But with the add velocity, these particles start swirling and then head off in a direction. So you get this neat little effect going on here. And you can speed, like you can speed this up a little. Uh, you can speed this one up. Do note that I have the drag node on. So what that node is doing is the bigger this is, the slower it is. If I turn this off, you can see that these 
start to speed up a bit. So there you go. And uh, the one you saw, the spawn rate, was at 2,000. So now you're getting more of a blizzard. <laughs> uh, bring the size back down to like one, two, like three. These are going extremely quickly because there's no drag on. The drag on, they're still moving fairly quickly, but a little more reasonable. This is more like uh, assuming that there's some error. I forget the word, but typically thing because of the how uh, things on the planet work, uh, you will have drag with various objects. So, yep, you can tinker with all of these settings to your delight. Um, you can even, instead of a sprite renderer, you just turn that off, you could actually grab a mesh renderer. And let's just grab a sphere. And here you definitely want to bring the spawn rate down. You'll need to adjust several other things, but as you can see, you can get it going with either the mesh or the sprite renders. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more like it, please feel free to donate to my coffee. And additionally, you can clip, click the link to get Clip Studio Paint. And a portion of that will help support me and my videos. Have a good one.